Every week, we bring you stories of inspirational athletes overcoming the odds. Among the thousands of people affected by the Calder fire, more than a dozen El Dorado football players were forced to evacuate. Brian Mueller explains how the football field became a home away from home for some of those Cougars. Football is a chaotic game. But for Jacob Bell, there's always been a calm within the chaos. I've always, you know, I've always loved it. I always loved being able to come out here because I, I, you know, I have a lot of siblings and I'm the youngest, so I always got picked on a lot by them. And it was nice to just be able to come out here and get away from everything and just be in the moment. For Jacob and many of his teammates, getting away from everything has become necessary. Three weeks ago, more than half the team evacuated their homes due to the Caldor fire. I got up to go to school and my mom told me I gotta go get gas now in the car, we gotta leave. My mom woke me up telling us that we had to evacuate. About 19, 20 years of things in this house from my family and we got a small, small portion of all of our stuff. Quick thinking of what your most valuable possessions are. It's stressful. I had to grab as much as I could, get in the car and everything and pretty much just find a place to live. After evacuating their homes in Pollock Pines, Jacob and Evan have both been living with family members. Senior Chase Nutting spent a week down in the trenches fighting the fire, protecting the family ranch alongside his parents. There would be some points where there would be 50 plus hours of no sleep and then, and then a couple hours of sleep here and there. A lot of emotions, I guess. Uh, just scared, uh, sadness, but just uh, you wouldn't have that physical strength to get through every day or every second and just trying to protect your home and all the other homes around it. As the flames move forward across their town, the team tried to focus on school and sports, but the concern for their homes was constant. It's always on the back of your mind. You try not to sit there and look at your phone all the time, but it's, it's hard not to. If you just sit and think of all the memories and all the things that you still have there, it's really hard to focus on anything else. In the middle of the evacuation, Football has been their escape, finding a home between the lines on common ground with teammates. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't get out here and let out the frustration and the stress. Everybody's going through the same thing and we're all here for each other and that's why going to practice, it makes it better because you're going through the same motions with everybody because everybody's going through them. It just makes it so much easier knowing like someone's by your side. The community has also been by the Cougars side, donating food and supplies and all the brave firefighters putting their lives on the line. But for this El Dorado football team, this isn't just a story of surviving, but also thriving. Between poor air quality and the evacuations, the team has been limited some weeks to only going through walkthroughs, other weeks one hour practices. Despite all that, the Cougars won their first two games of the season by a combined score of 81 to 6. It really shows that we we know what we want this year and we're not going to let anything in the way of it. They're just tough. They, they, they bounce back, they deal with stuff like I probably couldn't even deal with it, how they deal with it, to be honest with you. In fact, it's the adversity this fire has created that is fueling this El Dorado team. 100% has brought us closer. This year, I feel like I'm closest to this team than I've ever been, you know, through all these years of football. Because never in my, you know, history playing football have we experienced something of this magnitude together. It's a closeness that the Cougars hope will bring them something else they've never experienced before, a state championship. Depending on if, you know, my house is still standing at the end of the year, to have that championship, it's it's gonna feel it's gonna feel great either way. Win on three, one, two, three, win. Win. Reporting in Placerville, Brian Mueller, 49ers Sack High Sports. Thank you, Brian. The players started moving back into their homes last week as the Calder fire reached about 50% containment. We are very glad everyone is safe and the team can now focus on school and winning ball games. Yeah, we see all that smoke, but we don't mm -hmm. see the people that it really affects. Yes. So good, good to see that they're coming back.